Aside from reading a document, let's say you want to know more details about the document, like who was the editor, who authored it, when it was last opened, modified, all those types of things. Well, to view that, you can go to the document's properties, clicking on the Office logo button, coming down to Prepare, and then coming up and clicking on Properties. It gives you the properties, or at least a summary up at the top, but if you want advanced properties, I'll take you there in just a second by clicking on Document to Advanced. But right now you can see the author, I mean Compaq. Who the heck is that? I mean, that's the name of the computer. Remember that if you don't want the author, by default, to keep coming up as Compaq over and over again, in a previous training video you can change the authorship by clicking on the Office logo button, going down and clicking on Word Options, and then it's right here in the popular group, Personalize Your Copy of Microsoft. And I personalized it, changed it from HP or Dell computers, whatever the default was, with my username and initials. But, of course, this was done at a later date. So after I created this document, it had Compaq as the author, so of course you want to change that. The title is all messed up, so the title is uh, Success. So it won't automatically go back into the document properties, because what if somebody else created it and you bring it onto your computer? It's not automatically going to update it to them being the author, right? Okay. In any case, you've got the author title, maybe the subject of it, any keywords. So when you do a quick search throughout the computer, you can have your keywords here. This is about Phil Collins. It'll be able to pull it up sooner. Um, those are your keywords. If you want to put it in a category, the category in which the documents can be classified, for example, documents for my manager. Um, the status, again, you can go over the prompts and any comments you want to add. Now, I'm going to go ahead and save this, and I'm going to show you the advanced properties so you can get a little bit more in detail here. For example, um, there's the general tab. Let's start there first. It tells you when the document was created, gosh, uh, 2008, and then when it was modified when it was last accessed. If your company uses Microsoft Exchange Server, it'll actually tell you who created it, give you the name when it was last modified, and so forth. above, okay. Statistics, which you can get even coming down here on your uh, word frame bar down below, but it gives you the uh, page numbers, paragraphs, lines, how many words are in the document, characters and characters with no spaces, how many revisions it took, and in four minutes it was done. In any case, we'll move on. The contents of it, and then finally custom, and we'll show you how you can use this. It's pretty nice. Part of the customizations you may want to do is, for example, let's say we have somebody else working on this document besides the author, maybe we have an editor. So I'm going to scroll down in here and find editor, select it, and then the value, we'll say it's Frank Luntz. And then just go ahead and click Add. So now it's keeping track of him as part of the document properties. Heck, we don't even have to use the default names down below. How about if we just wanted to say, hey, is this approved for printing? Yes or no. Maybe the editor's working on it. Maybe somebody else is working after it and needs to have that option of yes or no, whether it's approved for editing, maybe yes. So we'll go ahead and click on add, and maybe the editor came in here and said, look, I looked at it. I'm the editor, and I approve it for uh, printing. In fact, you may have to click and drag that over to be able to see what the text is, okay, in between the headers here. And then when you're finished, click OK. Of course, you can always go back to it, document properties to advanced properties, and it's still there. And the whole purpose is for people who want to know who the author was, whether it's been checked or not. I mean, uh, the imagination is the limit here of how you want to keep track and what you want other users to do to add their name to the file here. Okay. And then when you're finished, just go ahead and click on the close button, and there you go. And of course, be sure to save your work. Now, one last thing is that if you have a bunch of documents that have the properties in there, information about you, that you're no longer the author or the editor, so, for example, I come back down here and I go to Properties. Instead of coming in here and deleting this, deleting my comments, deleting um, anything that's traceable that can come back to me with my name and even under Advanced Properties, I want to remove it all. Well, close out of here, you can do that by clicking on the Office logo button, coming down to Prepare, and then going over and up to Inspect Document. So what it does, you can see right here, it's going to check your document for any hidden metadata or personal information that ties me to the document as the author, because by default, in the word options, it's going to add my name to any new document. But what if I didn't want it in there and I want to run that check? We'll, we'll click cancel and we'll run it right now. So prepare to inspect the document. And we want to uncheck everything except document properties and personal information. So it's going to inspect the document. And once it finds it, it's going to go ahead and remove it here in just a second. Click on inspect. It found some stuff. And then I have the choice right now of removing it all. So when I click Remove All, I can reinspect it, but I'm going to click Close, and let's take a look, see if it's removed. Office logo, 
down to prepare, over and up to properties. Wow, nothing. Let's go to advanced properties. Nothing here. There's no longer Frank Luntz as the editor. Um, it's gone. So it cleaned it up. No longer tied to it. Then I can go ahead and send this off to somebody else. So that way if they criticize it and they want to know who the author of it was, well, I won't get any bad flack from them. But of course, if they want to pay me millions of dollars, then I better be sure I put my name in here so they can look at me and say, gosh, you're fantastic. Let's pay you. Thanks for watching. Hey, as a quick reminder, if you like my video, please give it a thumbs up. You can also click on me and subscribe to my channel, get notified of the latest videos. And for only $2 a month, you can have access to all my Microsoft Office training videos.